Well, Airbnb is reimagining travel. Today, the company unveiled more than 50 new upgrades and features they say are in direct response to the rise in remote work. Joining us now to talk about the upgrades is Chris Lahane. He's Airbnb's Senior Vice President for Global Policy and Communications. Well, Chris, it seems, you know, one of the, the biggest changes that you guys have implemented here is something called air cover. Uh, what can you tell me about air cover? Yeah, air cover is really designed to help support our hosts. Um, you know, today we have hosts in uh, 100,000 cities, 220 countries around the world. And, you know, there is enormous interest in being able to participate on Airbnb as a platform to make that extra income typical host makes about $9,600 a year. But we want to make sure we're giving those hosts full assurance that we'll have their back, that they'll be able to do this in a safe way and a protected way. And so what AirCover does is it, first of all, gives hosts a million dollars of insurance um, in case something goes wrong, a million dollars uh, in liability uh, in case uh, any other issues that come up that they need some protection over. And then it has all sorts of specific support for everything from enhanced cleans, cleanings that may be needed after a guest stays uh, to issues that may happen because a pet was in uh, the residence uh, mm -hmm. to actually creating a much longer window for a host to be able to file to get um, uh, financial support in the event that anything happens. But, but ultimately what AirCover really speaks to is that more and more people are becoming Airbnb hosts, A, because of the economic benefits that they can get as more people travel on Airbnb. Uh, and secondly, because they're really enjoying the connections that they get from all the people that they meet who are traveling on the platform. And this is just really our latest step uh, to really be in partnership with our hosts. And, and this is free for all of the hosts. 100% free. This You automatically get this uh, when you become a host. There's some additional benefits that you get the longer you are a host, but everything I just talked about and described uh, comes automatically and for free once you become a host. And, you know, really interesting to see what's happened over the last year or so, which is as more guests have traveled on Airbnb, uh, there's been more interest in hosting as we've talked about. But, you know, a typical host who joins the platform within a week, 50% of those folks are actually getting a listing, getting business, and 75% of those new hosts within two weeks are getting business. So if you have space, if you have a home and you're looking to make some extra uh, extra money, uh, you know that will happen pretty quickly for a typical person who joins the platform. Yeah, now there's some really great protections for them. Obviously, international travel, it has opened back up um, yeah. for us here in America. It's opening back up uh, around the world. Talk to me a little bit about this new translation technology, because I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And by the way, how awesome was it to see the photos of people meeting family members oh, yesterday yeah. at airports, right? Wasn't that cool? <laughs> it's it a really... It is something that so many people have been waiting for, and it's really, right. really wonderful to see people being able to reunite again. I just see people hug and the face looks on their faces. Yeah. So the translation tool is really consistent with all of that, which is, you know, historically guests and hosts have been able to communicate with each other, um, but you often had to use sort of third-party translation tools to do it, and it was really clunky and things would get misinterpreted or misstated. You know, now all of this technology is built right into the platform. Uh, and so now in 60 plus languages, a host and a guest can talk with each other seamlessly. And it's coming at exactly the perfect time as cross-border travel opens up. And right, we're seeing you know, an, a real interest in that cross-border travel around the world, but particularly um, uh, you know, with the US borders opening up. And so for a company who's ultimately about connecting people with other people in other places, having the capacity to have such a high functioning uh, translation tool will be uh, will be a game changer uh, in terms of how those hosts and guests interact with each other, both when they're establishing their trip, setting up the trip, but also when they're on the trip and being able to make sure that they can get information in real time mm -hmm. that is actionable and that they can clearly understand. Definitely really, really helpful. I know, you know, sometimes also you get to a space, things aren't exactly as advertised. You guys have a new review process going on as well. Yeah, that's in particular for um, folks who are traveling and needing accessible travel accommodations. And so oh, in the past, is. yeah, this is really for, for, for folks for, uh, from an accessibility perspective, mm -hmm. which is you know, a really growing part of the overall travel sector. But it's incredibly important for someone who does need an accessible accommodation that they're getting exactly what they, uh, what they need. Um, and so 
what we now have is 100,000 properties uh, where um, they have been verified to have you know, what they are indicating that they have in those homes to help uh, make sure that that yeah. um, person who's traveling who really needs that type of support from an accessibility perspective is going to get what they're looking for. And so 100,000 of these properties now exist. These, these have been re reviewed uh, individually um, based on photos that are uploaded to get reviewed. Uh, and so for us, this is a you know, real step forward uh, in terms of making sure people get what they're looking for. But, but even above and beyond that, right, you can't actually connect people from different places um, unless everyone is having the opportunity to be able to participate in the platform. And this is really a step by us to help uh, increase the, the number of people who can participate in the platform. Definitely. Is this something you're encouraging um, hosts to potentially think about if they're thinking of making upgrades to their place? Is accessibility something you guys have uh, really started to talk with hosts about? Yeah, it's a great question. And it is something that we really encourage our hosts to do. Um, first of all, just from you know, a pure business perspective, there are more and more people who are looking for this. Uh, but you know, well beyond the, the business implications, you know, is really like our company's purpose uh, is to connect people from around the world. We're now in 220 countries and regions, 100 plus thousand cities. You know, we're literally everywhere. Um, but you know, once you're everywhere, it's really uh, important that you make it possible for anyone else to be able to belong anywhere. And so, you know, on a whole range of issues, but in particular, uh, when it comes to accessibility, this is something that. We really work with our host community to support um, and to help educate them and to help provide them the tools uh, to be able to make their homes as accessible as possible. Definitely. What other types of trends are you seeing? Obviously, we're heading into the holidays. We've got the new yeah. year right around the corner. What types of trends are you guys seeing that kind of, I guess, propelled you to make a lot of these changes? Yeah, so you know, we're going through, we're in the midst of a travel revolution where family living are all really beginning to blend together. Like the two of us are talking over Zoom technology right now. And if you believe Zoom and similar technologies are here to stay, which, which I do, then you have to believe that the nature of travel is gonna change. So less business travel, but a lot more family travel, people staying for longer time periods, uh, people traveling, not necessarily uh, based on the traditional calendar traveling in August or, or around the holidays. You know, we've called this the great untethering and on Airbnb, we see something called longer term stays, 28 days or more. That's mm -hmm. now about 20% of our business amongst the fastest growing part of our business. Rural travel uh, is up 40% compared to the same time uh, in the past. And you know, really interesting tidbit that I think speaks to how this work, family living are all changing is the two busiest days of the week for Airbnb right now are Mondays and Tuesdays. And mm -hmm. what that is being driven by is the fact that people are now traveling with their families and being able to go to a Tahoe for a you know Saturday, Sunday, but now Monday and Tuesday, and mm. perhaps one or both of the spouses work um, on that Monday and Tuesday, but the kids can still participate um, in the skiing. And we're really seeing that pattern uh, replicate itself all over the world. Um, you look at our Thanksgiving data um, and we see travel up 40% over Thanksgiving. That's really being driven by this market shift of people looking for whole homes to get together with their family members and their loved ones. And so this travel revolution, the untethering, the fact that work and family living are all really beginning to blend together uh, is something that you know, we see playing out over the holidays, but, but also just where travel is going um, and this becoming how people travel. Will travelers start seeing higher costs at all or any more fees associated with any of these changes that you guys have made? Now, these, these are all built uh, into the platform. They're really an effort by us to take into account you know, what consumers are looking for, how travel is changing uh, to both meet uh, those uh, changing needs, but also to help lead where travel is going. And so this becomes all part of our efforts to strengthen the platform. You know, ultimately, Airbnb is a model based on trust. As a company, we only do well if our hosts do well, they make money and that we have their back. Uh, those hosts only do well if guests feel like they're getting a differentiated experience for, for a good value. And ultimately, communities only want those guests coming in if they're going to behave and, and act uh, appropriately. And so there's a whole social contract that takes place here. Uh, and so for us as a platform, it's always the steps and actions that we can take to build trust into all of this and everything that we're announcing today is really just different aspects of investing in trust and building 
uh, building out that crust on the platform. So it's delivering both what our hosts are looking for and what those guests are looking for. Definitely. Chris Lehane, Airbnb Senior Vice President for Global Policy and Communications. Really, really appreciate your time today. And I'm sure a lot of uh, folks who are, are watching right now are, are likely going to be staying in an Airbnb at some point over the next uh, couple of months, I'm sure. And uh, really appreciate uh, you sharing exactly why you felt the need to make these changes. Thank you so much for having me. I hope um, everyone out there has a wonderful holiday season. It's hard to believe it's already upon us. I know. <laughs> um, and, and for those who are staying at the Airbnbs, I do hope you have a wonderful time. I always appreciate the conversation.